Welcome to another video in the series Inventory Management. In this video, we will look at another example of the basic fixed order quantity model. Now, as I have already indicated in my previous videos, there are two basic replenishment systems. One is the fixed order quantity where your quantity of ordering is fixed while the time period when you are ordering can change. The second model is fixed period type where the time period for ordering is fixed. That means it can be every Sunday of a week or every first Monday of a month and so on. But the quantity that is being ordered can vary. So this is what we look at. So we look at the basic fixed order quantity model and we look at another example for this. Now when I say basic, what this means is that all the information is known and is certain. Now let's look at the example. So a department store sells sports shirts for casual wear. Mr. Bean is in charge of the men's department and knows that the annual demand for one of these shirts is fairly constant at 250 shirts per year. So this is the annual demand that has been given for this shirt. These shirts are obtained only from the manufacturer who charges a delivery fee of $65 regardless of the number of shirts delivered with that order. So basically, this is kind of a transportation charges, which they charge every time you place an order. So you can place an order to the manufacturer for five shirts, they will still charge you $1.65. Even if you place an order for 50 shirts, they will again charge $65 which means that per order, the delivery fee is $65. In addition, in-house cost associated with each order is $6. That means this is the stationery, printing, etc. charges for ordering. Now the manufacturer charges $16.25 per shirt. So this is the purchase cost but is willing to lower the price by 3% per shirt if the department store will order at least 2 gross which is 288 each time. So this is like price breaks, right? So price break kind of means that if you order up to let's say 50, I'll give you no discount. If you order between 50 and 100, you'll get 2% discount. If you order between 101 to let's say 200, you get 5% discount and so on this will be like 51. So, so similarly, they are saying that if you order at least 288 quantity, then I'll give you a discount of 3% per shirt on the purchase price. Of course, what this means is that some shirts must be kept in inventory. So you will order and then this shirts or the excess shirts will have to be kept in inventory for a longer time. And the holding cost have been estimated at 8.5% per year. So when you are holding these inventory into your premises, or maybe you might have even uh, premises to hold this inventory on loan, you are basically paying 8.5% per year. Should Mr. Bean recommend that the department store accept the offer of the quantity discount? So we have to find out is ordering 288 better than ordering the 
regular economic order quantity. So let's first note down what information has been given to us. So this is the information that has been given to us. Annual demand capital D is 250 per year. Ordering cost capital S is 65 plus 6 that is $1.71 per order. Purchase cost that is capital C is 16.25 per shirt. And holding cost, this is not the annual cost in dollars. This is given in terms of percentage. So we will consider this as small i. Now, if we have to calculate the holding cost per year, so holding cost per year is denoted as capital H, which is small i into C. That means 8.5% into 16.25. So this will become 0 0.085 multiplied by 16.25. So now we have to find out whether the quantity discount should be availed or not. Now the way to find this out is to find out whether the total cost is lower in terms of the current situation or will it be lower if we order the quantity of 288. So in the current situation, we do not know what is the order quantity. That order quantity will be the economic order quantity. So economic order quantity is to be found out. So economic order quantity is 2 into D into S divided by H that is holding cost or it can also be denoted as I into C. So this is equal to 2 into D which is 250 into S which is $71 divided by 0 0.085 multiplied by 16.25 and this comes out to be 160 units. So if we don't consider this 3% discount per shirt and if we consider demand of 250 shirts per year, we have been given the ordering cost, we have the holding cost, uh, we have the purchasing cost. So if we consider this, the economic order quantity, that means the quantity that should be ordered at one point in time is 160 units. Now we have to find out whether the total cost is lower if we place single order of 160 units or if we place single order of 288 units. So let us find out. So let me first note down the formula for total cost. So the total annual cost or TC is equal to annual purchase cost. That means annual demand multiplied by the unit price per unit plus the annual ordering cost, which is basically the annual demand divided by the quantity which is being ordered. So this will give the number of orders that are being placed multiplied by the ordering cost plus the annual holding cost which is the average of inventory that is inventory quantity divided by 2 multiplied by the holding cost per year. So let's first find out the total cost with the economic order quantity that is if we order 160 units per order. So let's say this is TC EO. So this will be equal to D that is the demand. So demand is 250 multiplied by C that is the purchase cost per shirt which is 16.25 plus now we'll take the annual ordering cost which is D divided by Q into S. So D is 250 divided by Q is the economic order quantity which is 160 
multiplied by S which is the ordering cost so that is 71 plus the annual holding cost so Q divided by 2 that is 160 divided by 2 multiplied by H which is the holding cost and this is 0 0.085 multiplied by 16.25 so this comes to dollar 4283.94 so this will be the total cost if we order with the quantity as 160 units that means with the economic order quantity now the second case is that the quantity that is being ordered is 288 per order so now let us find out what will be the total cost in that situation so total cost at 288 right this was at 160 so let's find this out so again the formula remains the same demand that is d so this will be 250 multiplied by the cost per unit now the cost per unit is changing so let us find this out since the cost will be 3% discount of this amount so what we can do is we can do 0 0.97 multiplied by this purchase cost which is 16.25 so C will be equal to 0 0.97 multiplied by 16.25 plus now next is annual ordering cost so demand is again 250 divided by quantity which is now 288 in this case so 288 multiplied by s which is the ordering cost so this remains the same because irrespective of the quantity being ordered the ordering charge is fixed that's what they have said so multiplied by 71 plus quantity which is 288 divided by 2 multiplied by the holding cost which is 0 0.085 this is the i and c is this part here so this is the new c so i which is 0 0.085 multiplied by 0 0.97 multiplied by 16.25 so upon calculation this turns out to be dollar 4195.19 so as you can see the total cost for meeting the annual demand is lesser in case you are ordering more that is you are ordering 288 while you are getting the 3% discount as compared to when you order the regular economic order quantity without a discount so in this case this option that is ordering 288 per order is the preferred option now one quick observation here so as you can see even though you are ordering 288 right the total cost or the total purchase cost is being calculated using 250 units now this is happening because you are calculating the total cost to meet the annual demand and the annual demand in this case even though you have ordered 288 as the quantity on an annual basis you will be using only 250 for that year so the purchase cost for that year will be 250 multiplied by the unit cost of each item now when we look at the ordering cost now here you will have to place two orders whereas here you will have to place only one order because your quantity is more than the demand and same here the inventory that you are holding is going to be 288 because this is going to come into your inventory 
Now when you take the whole thing together, what turns out is that your total cost is lesser when you have 288 as the quantity and especially because you have this 3% discount. So this is playing a significant role. Now one quick tip here. So these, these levers that you see the annual purchase cost, the discount per unit, the ordering cost, uh, the price breaks that we are getting that okay, if you order this much quantity, I'll give you a 3% discount, etc. These all play a significant role when you are making a contract or when you are sourcing your items from your vendors or your suppliers. So a lot of these levers are used during those negotiations and it is up to how creative you can be in using these levers to make the deal very attractive.